Due to recent events, the OVA is forced to change certain things drastically. We have to realize that setting up a women's army consisting of East Frisian women was a mistake. The East Frisian woman has proven to be too weak and is not up to the tasks that the OVA has to face. The challenge is to free our country from the Slavic invaders. The Russian women's army may be very weakened, but the much greater threat at the moment is the numerically at least equal Slavic women's army. If you look at the many losses that the OVA has suffered in the last few weeks, a victory over the Serbs with East Frisian women is hardly imaginable. Our new friends from Uganda were ultimately able to convince us that the East Frisian woman is not strong enough. This brings us to a drastic but necessary decision. In order to guarantee the well-being and continued existence of the East Frisian people, we have decided to exchange the female population in East Frisia for Ugandan women. The following things will happen in the next few days and weeks. First, the female OVA fighters of East Frisian origin are released from service. These women are immediately transferred to camps where their worthless lives are to be ended. Second, every woman in East Frisia is declared outlawed. This means that anyone who sees an East Frisian woman can and should kill her without fear of reprisal. This subject's carcass will then be disposed of in the evening by our corpse clearance teams. Third, we will send out commandos to hunt down and kill every fugitive East Frisian woman. Fourth, the ranks of the OVA combat units will be filled with Ugandan women in the future. That was all for now. Thank you for your patience. Further information will follow in the next few days via the usual channels.